Hey everyone around the world, I'm Jonathan Lucky and I'm here to tell you about another great feature in CRD. Um, the best way to explain this feature is what happens if it's midnight, it's 3 o'clock in the morning or you're on vacation and your CRD server dies. Um, how on earth can you make sure that even if your entire system dies, as in the server crashes, hardware failure, whatever, what happens uh, if all of that occurs? Well, with the new failover module, any of your schedules, should there be a failure on your primary server, if it fails at any point, automatically all of your schedules and CRD processes will immediately move over to the backup server without any problems and without any intervention on your part. Pretty cool. Let's take a look and see how it works. First, there's a couple of things that you have to consider before setting up failover. Number one, you need to make sure that obviously you have an additional installation. After all, how can you, you know, make sure that you have a backup server? You need to have another installation of CRD active for it to be backed up too. Number two, you can't use your primary server as a backup. I know it goes without saying, but hey, it must be said. And number three, um, you also have to make sure that you are set up, uh, that you have ODBC database storage functionality. Um, also with that, that your multiple S, uh, CRD installations are set up to have, uh, in a, be in a client server relationship essentially meaning that all of your installations can see the schedules on your primary server. If that's the case, then you know you're good on that front. The next thing on the server side, you need to make sure that all of your primary settings and are mirrored to that of the backup machine. So in other words, in the case of DSNs, any of the DSNs that your reports connect to, you need to make sure those DSNs are established on the backup server. In the CRD options menu, uh, under system paths, make sure that all of those paths are full UNC paths, machine and all, um, and that also match both that's on the CRD primary machine and also on the CRD backup machine. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing you'll do, go to your backup, the, the CRD installation you intend to be your backup, and go to the options menu. Go to Scheduler, and then it doesn't really matter what type of schedule you're using, be it the background or the NC scheduler. You'll notice a little option here called Use as Backup Server Failover. Go ahead and check that box. And now you're all set. That particular CRD installation is now considered a backup. You can only do uh, one backup machine at a time but it's already there and set. There's nothing that you have to do on the primary CRD machine. One more thing to consider is that if there is a failure and the, all of your schedules automatically shunt over to the backup system, that backup machine becomes your primary CRD installation. So if you no longer want that to be your primary CRD install, you'll have to reset the other server make that the primary machine once again, and then reassign your backup installation as a backup once more. Cool. Well, that's a pretty easy one. Um, if you have any questions, as always, feel free to comment or send us an email or give your account manager a ring. If you don't have any of these features, make sure you give your account manager a ring and they'd be happy to set you up as well. All right, I'll see you in the next demo.